So I just got this TTP223 module in, uh, and it's a very inexpensive and small module. You can see it's actually smaller than the size of my finger, uh, or the size of a soldering iron tip, just to give you some perspective. Extremely small module. Uh, my problem with it is that it's a little bit too sensitive. So sometimes if you get too close to it, you don't even have to touch it, and it will switch off. And sometimes if it's switched off, it will uh, just randomly switch back on because of just uh, some capacitance perhaps in the, in the breadboard itself. Um, sometimes objects can cause it to switch on and off if you put them too close to it. Um, so what I like to do in this video is to add a capacitor to it to decrease the sensitivity. And I read on the data sheet that you can use a 0 through 50 picofarad capacitor to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Take it off the motherboard, or I'm sorry, off the breadboard here. Uh, and what we need to do is to solder a capacitor to this surface mount area. And unfortunately, I don't have any surface mount capacitors um, of this size or of this value. And I'll just bring it up closer so perhaps you can even see that. It's an extremely small surface mount component. So in order to do this, it's, it's so small, I'm actually going to have to use my headset here, my magnifying headset, in order to see it. Yeah, you seem to have gotten it. All right, so let's put it back in and hopefully it won't pop off. Looks like it's soldered on. Good enough. Let's try it back here. Hopefully putting it back on, it's not gonna knock it off. That's well, still quite sensitive. You can see here that I'm actually not even touching it and it's switching on. See, it came close, uh, perhaps to the metal lead there actually, that might have done it. So I'm actually going to grab a 50 picofarad capacitor and see if that does any better. Let me pause the video here. Okay, just to make sure that uh, things were working properly, what I've done is I've cropped down the legs of the 47 picofarad capacitor just to make sure that that wasn't causing any any uh, outside uh, capacitance from the uh, from the metal leads themselves, and that seems to be much more stable now. Yeah, so it's working very well now. So I think if you did have a surface mount component of 47 capacitance of 47 um, picofarad capacitance, uh, this would be a very stable uh, module. And now this seems to be much more stable. In fact, you have to touch it quite well for it to go on and off. And I'm not seeing any phantom switching going on either. Even when I touch it with other things that were causing it before, it's not switching on. So that's a much better result.